All right, next machine. Moving on to an A1502 MacBook that will not turn on. As you can see, like many of the other MacBooks I work on, this one is completely covered and plastered in dirt that has never been cleaned by the end user, such as life. We don't have a spinning fan, and it's drawing no power from my power supply. I never understood that. Wiping down your machine is so easy, says Rick Vandermark. Nope, it's not, because if you do that, the screen will peel off. Have I told you about Staingate? Check this out. You think that you can simply wipe down your screen. Nope. Nope. <laughs> that's what happens if you wipe down your screen. Uh, that, yeah. You're so silly. You think you can just clean your screen if there's dirt on it. You're cleaning it wrong. You're touching it wrong. You're staring at it wrong. This is what happens if you clean your Apple product. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's what we call Staingate. And Staingate is why you can't clean your MacBook. You need to make sure that your MacBook stays ugly. You know, the one thing I would say is if you're buying this thing, you're probably spending your money wrong. You're buying it wrong is what Becky says. Definitely buying it wrong. Corrosion on webcam connector. Dust on JTAG connector. We've completed removing the dust from the MacBook. We're going to take our connector, and take our power, and put it there, and turn the charger on. Damn, no fan spin. That would have been way too easy. Oh, huh? What are you? Oh, I found you. A corrosion. Mm. Go away, corrosion. Okay, where else did the corrosion go? I'm hungry for corrosion. Show me some more. I want to get as much as I can under the microscope before I toss this in the cleaner. I want to touch up any joints that are messed up that shouldn't be. Through that gross crap. Huh. We got no spin. I'm gonna give this a go in the ultrasonic and see if that does it. This is a board for the cleaner. I will start troubleshooting it once it's clean. God forbid a $1,000 product gets any level of dust resistance. Yeah, that's Apple. This is the machine that I just took out of the ultrasonic cleaner. This is the one where we that was filled with dust that I removed the JTAG connector on. And this is what it looks like now. So you can see that it looks a lot cleaner. This is the webcam. This is the webcam over here connector. And this is where the JTAG was. I added a lot of flux to that area and removed it. It cleaned it pretty nicely, pretty nicely. And if we look at the other side of the board, you can see right where I was doing some touch-up soldering. The crest managed to clean that off pretty well. Remember, this board did not work when I touched up the soldering in all those areas that had funny looking stuff. Uh, but the, the Crest did a really good job of cleaning all the junk off of this board. And now we're going to try to turn it on. And I'm really hoping that this doesn't turn on. Because if this does turn on now, that means that you can kill a $1,299 professional product from Apple with dust and lint. And that would be painful. That would be a hard pill to swallow. So we're going to plug it in. And as you can see, there is fan spin. That fan spin means that you can kill a $1,299 professional level machine from Apple with dust. That is all it takes, ladies and gentlemen. That is all it takes. That's one of those things to think about before you spend $1,299 on one of their products. Oh, man, that's sad. That is so sad. That is so sad. Engineered in Cupertino, California.
That was. Can we even call that corrosion with how small it was? And you can see that I removed every bit of corrosion from the board because I know the argument's going to be, well, Louis, there was corrosion there. Okay, well, we went over the board with a microscope. 45X, baby. 45X microscope. We removed every piece of corrosion and resoldered any connection that had even this much corrosion. And in my experience, that much corrosion is not going to do it. You need like this much corrosion, not that much corrosion. Which means that what was causing this to not work was probably not the corrosion. It was the dust. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be paying my rent here for a long time into the future, I can tell. This video is brought to you by our sponsors at store.rossmangroup.com. Thank you for supporting our sponsors that help keep us in business. On store.rossmangroup.com, you can find chips, supplies, ultrasonics, flux, soldering stations, and more. With 4.9 stars on Shopper approved, same-day shipping from New York City, and free continental shipping over $30, you can't lose. We even offer free support unless you're a please bro, live chat, and are adding new products every day. We even got rid of our old terrible merchant services provider that used to decline random transactions for no reason. If you buy today, we'll throw in a special offer that your order will actually go through properly. What are you waiting for? Go to store.rossmangroup.com to get yourself some authentic Amtec Flux. Don't delay. Buy today.